what we like to do before we go into worship is we just like to make sure that everything's okay in here. I'm not really talking about repenting for your sins or salvation purposes. I'm saying, Lord, if there's something in my heart, there's an offense, there's an ill feeling, there's something that's just not right with my brother or my sister or myself or with you. Lord, I repent of that. I want my worship to be pure and unadulterated before you. When my worship comes before the throne of grace, I want you to receive my worship as pure from spirit and in truth. We love you, Jesus. Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit would have, have your way in this building. We've come with our agenda, but Lord, our agenda is secondary to yours. So Lord, have your way in this place today. Touch the hearts and the lives of people. Set free those that are struggling with addictions and bondages. Save those that don't know you as their Savior. Free us, Lord, from the vices of the world. We love you, Jesus, and we thank you. Let's worship the Lord with our worship team this morning.
calling on the God of Jacob, whose love endures through generations. I know that you will keep your covenant. I'm calling on the God of Moses. The one who opened up the ocean I need you now to do the same thing for me
the captives then you're freeing hearts right now you are the same god you are the same god you touch the lepers then i feel your touch right now you are the same god you are the same doctors and medicine like they do now and if you had leprosy it was a huge deal you were you could not be around your family you couldn't you could provide for your family you couldn't you couldn't even be in the same vicinity as a normal human because if they breathed your air it was you could catch leprosy so they pretty much exiled you to just hope you make it and then eventually they would just know that you would probably pass away and this song says that he touched the lepers then so I want to tell someone today, God's not scared of your mess. You can, you can have all the things wrong and just like he did in the Bible days, he'll walk right up to you and he'll touch you. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter who you've been. It doesn't matter what you did yesterday. If you will take him as your savior, he will walk into your mess and he will turn it around. So don't count yourself out. Leprosy then it was a death sentence. Today it's not. And the devil will tell you that what you did is a death sentence. And the Lord stands for something completely different than that. So I wanna just encourage someone this morning that might be struggling. Your leprosy does not scare him. And it's nothing that he can't fix. So turn that over to him, believe on him, believe in him. He will deliver you if you, if you ask. So don't let that scare you. It's nothing for him. I've seen it time and time again. It's nothing for him. Oh, we're gonna sing it again. You put that, you put yourself in that situation. Whatever you're facing this morning, whatever's got you bogged down in your mind, he is not afraid of you. He's not afraid of your stuff. Yeah. 
name above all names You're the name above all names Worthy of all praise And my heart will sing How great is our God You're the name
many of you know that he's a great God? He's brought you through so many things that when you look back, you think, how did that happen? It had to be God, Kevin. It just had to be God. No other. You couldn't do it within yourself. Matter of fact, you got you where you were. But God is a great God. He brings us out of the miry clay. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise again. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, worship team. Amen. Praise the Lord. I love to worship.